As Christmas time approached, Skylar and Andy to the mall they encroached. Presents they did seek to finish up their shopping week. Now let's see what these two have in store. So, uh, who do you still uh, need to shop for, Skylar? Just got the, uh, the girlfriend left. Oh, dude, dude, Santa's here. You like sitting on big bearded men's laps, don't you? So does your mom. Besides, what's the point? I'm going into GameStop. You want to come with me? Why not? I'm always in the mood to get fucked over anyways. So what are you thinking of getting her? Anything from Victoria's Secret is always a win-win for both you and her. Wink. It was a thought, but every guy gets his girlfriend something from, like, a lingerie store or jewelry store. Scented candles? Speaking of scents, I'm about to go make one right now. I'll be in the bathroom. BRB. Who says BRB anymore? I do. Whatever, Andy. Yeah, ass clown. What do you think of the boss's new plan? I think it's pretty solid, taking over Christmas. I can't believe Atnus would have the jingle balls to go up against Santa. Oh, no! Is anyone there? No. This bathroom's giving me the creeps. Let's get out of here. I have to tell Skylar. Andy wiped his white ass as white as the snow. He raced off to Skylar for he had to know. So did everything come out okay? <sighs> Sky, Skylar, you have no idea what I just overheard. Was it Atnes's cronies talking about the plan to take over Christmas? <sighs> yeah. What the hell did you know? Well, they were blabbing about it on their way out. It's almost like they want us to know. We have to alert the authorities. What seems to be the trouble there, boyos? <sighs> Atnes. Christmas. Gotta. What my asthmatic friend is trying to say is Atnes is trying to take over Christmas. Oh, sure, and I'm going apple picking with Scooby Doo. Toy, 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 toy. Dick hole. What? It's a Merry Christmas. Wait, wait. There they go into the parking lot. Let's hide behind this van, Andy. What do you see? Same thing you see, retard. Hey, fuck you, dickwad. Well, shut up. They're blatantly talking about their plans in public again. No, you shut up. Uh, okay. As long as we have the secret weapon Atnes gave us, we're sure to take over Christmas. Is he holding a Louisville slugger? I think so. We're gonna stomp Santa's ass. Not if we have anything to say about it. Yeah, you better run! We have to warn Santa! As the two prepare for a voyage up north, into Skylar's car they bravely go forth. So, what is the plan when we finally get there? Well, Andy, I believe what we should do is, I don't know, tell Santa? Well, no shit, but how are we going to waltz into Santa's workshop unannounced? You just leave that to me. So what do you think the deal is with this Atlas guy anyways? I bet he's from the South Pole, where warm snow falls up. Well, what do you want with Christmas? What must his plans be? He could be an evil twin. Evil twins are the worst. You're telling me. What was that? I think now would be a good time I should tell you that my car is like 80% duct tape. And how far will that get us? Mm, right about here. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to hitch a ride somehow. Come on! Doesn't anyone pick up two strange people on the highway anymore? Andy, show some leg. What? Dude, no. We're about 30 minutes out of Fargo. We just keep walking. Too bad it's butt fucking cold. Oh 
Man, this guy looks sketchy. Check out that beard. Yeah, but just look at that beard. You boys looking to hitch a ride there? Yeah, our car broke down back there. Well, I'm heading up to a town in northwest Canada. Where are you two headed? To the North Pole? North Pole? You two are crazy. I suppose I could give you a ride close to there. My truck is small, though, so one of you will have to sit on my lap. Dibs called it! Totally called it! So, what's up in the, uh, North Pole there? Santa. Santa? Yeah, we have to save him from Atnes. Atnes? Yeah, he's like the opposite of Santa. Are you high? No. Why? Looks like this is my stop. Good luck with the whole Santa saving. Wait. How do we get to the North Pole from here? I reckon it's about 300 miles or so up north. And how will we get there? Not my problem. Andy, look! Two polar bears! Yeah, we should probably head back before they try to eat us. Polar bears don't eat people, they drink coke, idiot. Look, I speak polar bear. I'll get them to give us a ride. You don't speak polar bear. <laughs> Holy shit. Hop on. They know the way. That will never work again in a million years and you know it. Doesn't have to, Andy. Doesn't have to. On ivory bears they rode their swiftest to Santa's house to save all Christmas. So long, my friends. We may call on you again. What did he say? I'll tell you when you're older. Just smile and wave. They approached the door to Santa's abode, but first the elves' riddles they had to decode. Hi, we're here to see Santa. And? And what? Well, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but everyone wants to see Santa. Yeah, but this is important. Fine, but you'll have to pass the test. The test? Yes, the test. Will you knock it off? Yes, the test. You must answer these riddles. Elvin Riddles, my specialty. Go get him, Andy! Ah, thanks. Number one. What is the one thing December has that no other month has? Well, Christmas would be too obvious. Um, the letter D? You win this round. Nice job. I'll handle the next one. Okay, number two. When can you add 2 to 11 and get 1? Uh, never. Incorrect. No! All that work ruined! That will never be allowed in! I'm sorry, Andy! And Santa! And... and oh! Are you quiet down? That's not how this works. You don't have a limit to guesses. Then how is this supposed to be hard? Well, usually people just get really frustrated and leave after the first guess. Oh, well then let me regroup and think. On a clock! When you add two hours to 11 o'clock, you get one. Woo! In your face! All right, all right, calm down. Question number three. 
One word in this question is misspelled. Which word is it? Yeah, fuck this. We're busting down the door. Wait, wait. What? Tell my wife. <laughs> I love her. Dude, you killed him. I didn't see nothing. Besting the elf's riddles, our heroes ventured inside, but little did they know the dangers Santa's house would hide. Alright, we're in. Let's scout the area. I don't think we need to be that sneaky. That's better. So what sort of security do you think we're dealing with? Attack dogs? Ninjas? Ninja attack dogs? I don't think we need to worry about anything like that. Shh, shh, wait. Someone's coming. Hide. <laughs> Told you. Yeah, whatever. Let's, let's just keep moving. We better find Santa. We're running out of time. I think he just found us. Oh, 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 welcome, boys, to my modest workshop. What can I do for the two hosts of the Comedic Dynamite podcast? Three hit combo. Santa, we've come because Christmas is in danger. And Christmas is always in danger, always. And it all works out fine. You would think I would protect the single cause of my livelihood and existence. Well, Santa, this time, it's someone named Atnis. Ass-looking donkey balls! I don't understand. Is that serious? Of course it is, but let me explain while I give you a tour of my bitchin' workshop. We have time for that? I'm fucking Santa! I do what I want. Shit, man, that's like asking if there's time for screwing. Oh, oh. Santa, I like your style. Well, boys, here at the workshop, we have those two bullshit rooms where we make dollies, wood trains, and shit like that. But the good shit is in the back. This is where we make the iPads and shit. By the way, you two aren't leaving here without your PS4s. If Matt were here, I would give him a connect. So about this Atnes fella, are we dealing with a clone, evil twin, what? Well, it's hard to say what or who Atnes is. As I seemed to gain in popularity, there were imitators and even duplicators. One such offender was Atnes. And so Santa told of Atnes's heart so black, when in the distance Atnes readied an attack. What's that? Come with me, boys, to the control room. One of our scouts has just returned. What is it, Rudolph? The Santa and his forces are en route to the workshop. Jesus, we need to get this workshop ready for battle by dawn. Oh, oh, oh. You got it, boss. If you need any help with the money, we can ship in. We just followed Matt around with the dollar jar for a few hours and got $26,000 from his puns. Oh, there's another. He must be screaming. Boys, I'm going to need you to help me do something. Anything for you, Santa. We need to get this base in attack mode. What I need from you, Andy, is to hype up the team. You got it, Santa. I want you. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I want you to remember that no bastard ever won war by dying for his country. You want it? By making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. You know, by God, I actually pity those poor bastards we're going up against. By God, I do. We're not just going to shoot the bastards. We're going to cut out their living guts and use them to grease the treads of our tanks. We're going to murder those lousy Hun bastards by the bushel. Now, 
Some of you boys, I know, are wondering whether or not you'll chicken out under fire. Don't worry about it. I can assure you that you will all do your duty. All right, now you sons of bitches, you know how I feel. I will be proud to lead you wonderful guys into battle anytime, anywhere. I think I need some air. Santa? I just don't know if I can do it this time. I always seem to pull Christmas out of the fire, but for what? So some greedy child can get some bullshit present that he didn't even deserve? And what happens if we win? I get the same stress of having to deliver presents to millions of kids all in one night. Can't be too early or too late. They have to be asleep, then I have to choke down whatever soured milk they left by the fireplace. Who leaves milk next to a fireplace for a few hours and expects people to drink it? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, slow down there, big guy. You want to know what I see when I look at you? A winner. A winner who brightens up the holidays for everyone. I don't know. I'm just thinking about retiring. Wait, I have an idea. I could name you my successor. I could retire and you could take over Christmas. Fuck that. I don't want that responsibility. I'd have to work day and night managing these elves and deliver all that shit. I'd have to run that stupid NORAD route and deal with them. That sounds like way too much stress for one... Uh, oh. But you look great in that suit. You know what? I do look good in this suit. I don't know what I was thinking. Of course I'll stay. Awesome. Now let's go get him. As the crew readied for war, Atnes was ready to even the score. What is it? Atnes, he's approaching! May God have mercy on me and only me. Where's Atnes? I don't know, but this doesn't look good. Santa, on behalf of Atnes, we have you surrounded. Surrender your workshop or else we will invade. Furthermore- Fire the cannons! Charge! Shit, Skylar, we need to help them. Quick! I'll shoot, and you be my shield. Dude, we do not have time for jokes. Okay, first let's lock and load. To Santa's armory did Andy and Skylar dash, for soon with Atnes' army, they would clash. How is everything in here? We're working hard to oversee the battle. We've lost some men, but I've also done quite a deal of damage to Atnes's army. Good, good. And Mrs. Claus? Already dead, sir. Good, good. Santa, you should stay here in the control room. It's the safest place for you. We can't risk your life out there. Well, no shit. There's no way in hell I'm going out there. In the control room, Santa waited, and through the communicator, his generals, he berated. Fight harder, you scum! We're doing all we can! Have you won yet? No! Well, then you're not doing a very good job! Holy crap, Santa is really packing. Yeah, our choices are nearly endless. Do you think Santa took some of these with him while delivering presents? I doubt it. Santa doesn't look like the type of guy to get his hands dirty. I hear he takes bodyguards. They're left out of all the Christmas movies. Well, it's time to lock and load. This is like a, like a first-person shooter in real life. Oh, let's see, I'll take a shotgun and a rifle and... All oh, these knives, just in case. Uh, what about you, Skyler? I'll take the rocket launcher and wait for someone to come around the corner. Really? Noob. It's a legit strategy. 
won't have time to wait for them, though. We have to get out there. You're right. Let's do this. Andy and Skylar would soon be at war, but is their cause too far gone to be fighting for? What are you guys doing? We need to get out there. We're reinforcements. We're heading that way now. Good. Andy and I will lead you all into battle. Ready, everyone? For Santa! Yes, sir! Uh, for Christmas! <laughs> Fighting against Atnus's army, the elves felt empowered. Now let's take a look at Santa the Coward. Holy hell, that's a bloody battle! Indeed it is, Santa. Santa, it's... <laughs> I have to say, Santa, you put up one hell of a fight. Or should I say, you had your elves and two nobodies put up a hell of a fight. But your time is over. A cowardly man like you doesn't deserve the praise and admiration of an entire world. From now on, they will have someone they can look up to, respect, and even fear. Boys, take him away. No! Atnus's force continued their onslaught, but Andy and Skylar would never give up their shot. Skylar, Atnus's army is nearly gone. I think we're gonna pull this one out. We should go check on Santa. He should be in the control room. It's the safest place in the workshop. I guess if one keypad with the code 123 is considered safe, we better go now. Santa! We've done it! The Atnus army is nearly defeated! Ha uh, uh, ha uh. ha! It's... It's... You! I've got to say, boys, you've really impressed me. I didn't realize how much you wanted to save that blubbering idiot. No matter though, Santa is well on his way to the South Pole, and I shall raid in over Christmas with an iron fist. Not if we have anything to say about it. Besides, you won't be able to take over the North Pole. You lack exactly one army. You don't think I would come here without Plan B, did you? You two are losing credibility by the minute. Ha ha ha. Get him! Atnus Ultra War ready for battle. Two human life forms spotted. Engage. Holy shit. That is one bitchin' robot. Good thing I brought this. Run! Do you have any idea on how, how to stop this thing? You saw my one idea. Let's get back to the battlefield. We can get help there. Run, coward! We're almost there! Oh no. The cyborg has obliterated everything on the battlefield. Everything! I've got an idea. Andy, I need you to distract the cyborg for a bit. Are you crazy? Just trust me on this one. Are you crazy? Just do it. We don't have much time. Lead him over to that part of Saturn's workshop that's still standing. Get him close to the roof. Fine. Go. Right. Give him hell, Andy. Give him hell. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. 
fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck. Rockets ready to fire. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck! <laughs> fuck, I'm here! Skylar, where the hell are you? Life form prepared for termination. Skylar! Geronimo! And once again, man conquers machine. What did you do to him? I plugged in a USB flash drive with pirated movies on it. The RIAA is shutting down all his processes. Clever. I like it. I cannot be stopped. Oh shit, it pulled the drive out. Two life forms prepared for termination. I guess this is it. We gave it our best, Skylar. We sure did, Andy. I'm sorry, Santa. We won't be able to rescue you. I wish Matt were here to die instead of us. Look, Andy! The bears are back! Yeah, Kiki's mechanical ass, bears! You will never stop, Atnes. Never! Oh! Looks like polar bears drink coke and eat cyborgs. Maybe that's why we haven't seen any until today. Well, looks like we have our rides back. We sure do, Andy. Let's go home. Hey, Andy. Remember when you killed that elf? <laughs> Atnes's machine lay heaped in trash, but Andy and Skylar had to record a podcast. So they rushed back home as quick as they could, in Skylar's reliable car that was made out of wood. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 3 Hit Combo Podcast. My name is Matt, and I am here with- OH MY GOD, God WE, we forgot, FORGOT TO save SANTA! Santa! Well, Andy, I don't know. Maybe we should, I don't know, tell S- uh, I said, I don't <laughs> you, know you almost had it. Yeah. I believe what we should do is, I don't know, tell Santa. There we go. Why don't you be still? <laughs> yeah. You seem to be doing such a good job at reading. I'm illiterate. Can't you see that? I'm just making guesses here. <laughs> Entire act two was just me hitting the keyboard. What I was going to do is actually have Jesus at the workshop. So he was talking to Jesus, but then I'm like, well, South Park already did that. Yeah. yeah. And then, I mean, we can't have Jesus, like, there for one line, so we would have had to work Jesus in. Actually, that guy would just offhandedly, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, yes. <laughs> Andy, look, two polar bears. Yeah, we should just head back before they try to eat us. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Man, it's, you yeah. sounded excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, polar bears. Oh, they're going to eat us. <laughs> yeah, you better run. We have to warn Santa. You want to say that line again? Okay. You sounded very like, we have to warn Santa. <laughs> like, just We have to warn Santa. <laughs> I should not be as serious on of course it is because that seems like a big 180. Like, oh, oh, oh let me give you a tour. <laughs> uh, that's what I was kind of going for. I was like wildly inappropriate to tour the workshop. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because yeah. there's always the tour of the workshop. Well, Santa, this time it's someone named Atnes. Ass looking donkey balls. Because <laughs> it says ass and donkey. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> Jesus! Zing. I could, I could do Ruble. I was I was just thinking of going like a the Santa and it's <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you guys, because it's only like two. Yeah, one line. It's one line. <laughs> yeah, do it. Do it. Right. Run, coward! We are. <laughs> I guess this is it. We gave it our best. We sure oh. did, Andy. Andy sounded very like yeah. Oh. All right. Well, I guess we'll go home. Not, not as like, right. he, you need to be like more sad. We better find Santa. We're running out of time.
Uh, uh, you want to say that line again? The running like, part sounded Shatner-esque right there. We're, we're running out of time. Just be like, we better find Santa. We're running out of time. We better find Santa. Eh. We better. We better. Cheeks. I'm going to take the Panera hat off so I don't say bread. I'm just a little bit breader than that. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. That's a dollar. Yeah, yes. that is a fucking dollar. We're not recording. Yes, we, we are. are. We are. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to use that at work, though. Good one. I suppose I could give you a ride close to there. My truck is small, though, so one of you will have to sit on my lap. Dibs called it. Totally called it. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I was I was working out that one. I'm like, I'm gonna put so much emotion into this. <laughs> that was <laughs> I almost went right into the line and then I just started laughing. Tell my wife <laughs> I love her. Dude, you killed him! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it sounded like the elf came at the yeah, end. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, know. Yeah. I was over oh. here, I was over here trying to laugh him the <laughs> you should. Hey, you want to come and do some elf voices for us? Because <laughs> he did have kind of like an elfish voice. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. We need someone to do some Christmas elves. Do you want to? You want to record a little bit for us? Come into my basement. Make elf noises. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast. My name is Matt, and I am here with Andy. Oh, oh my god, god we, we forgot, forgot Santa. Santa! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, Andy. Sorry. <laughs> All right, we forgot to save Santa. <clears throat> we forgot to Santa. Is that what you said? I said, forgot, we forgot Santa. <laughs> I thought you said would we, make sense. I thought you forgot, we, I thought you said we forgot to Santa. <laughs> it's like a dance move. Yeah, that's what I was going <laughs> to say. Is he old in the Louis, uh, Louis, Louisville song? Yeah. Is he old? <laughs> All right. Feel free to add yeah. any of these or, or I'm about to make one right now. Yeah, speaking of sense, I'm about to make one right now. I'll be on the bathroom. I'll be on the bathroom. Yeah. You don't speak polar. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> As the crew readied for war... Damn, I was getting Santa. But... Andy and Scott... Damn, that Santa Claus again. <laughs> keep sneaking in. I know, Santa Claus just keeps sneaking in. I'm fucking Santa. I do what I want. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's that part that's going to ruin him. Shit, man. Damn it. <laughs> this is an awesome Santa. I'm fucking Santa. I do what I want. Shit, man. That's like asking if there's time for screwing. You can black it up a little bit. I don't care. <laughs> one line, Santa's black. What is the one thing December has that no other month have? Hats. Son of a bitch. Yeah, that was, Whatever, that was my fault. Whatever's on the teleprompter, <laughs> yeah. Ron Burgundy will read. <laughs> <laughs> now, do we just want to make, like, hit noises like, uh, uh, right. uh. Yeah, sure. We can all do them at the same time. Like, we're playing. Are you guys having a sex party down you, there? You guys you guys be yourselves, and I'll, right. I'll be both the cronies, I guess. I mean, they're only grunts, so. All right. One, two, three. Uh, 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 no! Uh, uh, take this! Yeah. Yeah! I just didn't want to do it in rhythm because you guys were both yeah. going like, ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like you're just punching each other in the face over and over again. Just, 